Hello everyone. So we are back with little more LaTeX for you guys. Okay, so today what we are going to see is that how to do the basic formatting that you have in Word or any other word processor. For instance, we'll see how to um, make certain words bold, make them italic, that kind of stuff. And we'll see um, a few more things, very basic things. So this is the document that we created in tutorial one, while we saw how to create an article, a basic article. So everything is the same. I'm just going to take it from here and talk about how to create bold italics effects on the words. So what we would want to do is we want to create this sample introduction bold. So I'm gonna say text bold face. So that's BF and I'll put it inside these curly braces. So the tag is text BF here and then you put whatever you want to make bold inside these curly braces and let's see the effect of this so here this little guy sample introduction has become bold that was simple it wasn't it now let's say the second line we want to make this guy italicized so you could say slash text it second line save it and run it and there you go second line is italicized now if you want to apply both of these effects simultaneously at a text what you could do is text excuse me text and sample so sample should be bold as well as italicized and introduction should be only bold let's see did it work yeah it did work right so it's that simple just remember these two commands text bf and text it now just not to confuse you some people do it this way i guess that's they do it that's an old style um let's see if this works yeah that works too so some people do it this way some people do it this way i prefer this way because it gives you more control i don't know it looks the same but yeah just for the heck of it just remember that this is okay too but i prefer this one so i would ask you guys to remember this one then um the next thing let me show you something really cool so if you want to type latex in style you could do this and if i do that what happens just watch see how latex is written here right now and you see but that's just for this text if you want to do it now um another thing is that if you want to make your text bold or italic it's okay but what if you want to make it big really big or really small so for that what you do is you start this hues what it does is that it will tell that the font following this hues should be hues see the effect and you'll know you see how this text has become big now let's say you only wanted this first word to be hues and rest of it should be the normal so you say slash normal size so you started hues here and then you are back to the normal size after this word so this will give you the perfect effect so you can create it this way so that's one way and then if you want to make it small you can do that too just say tiny and this the word this is small now so this way you can control the size of the font very easily without much um, issue here there are similarly other things like small you could use small or you could go script size same thing for instance let's see script size it's a little bigger than tiny but it's still small so these things come handy when you're working with the table or something and then 
the entire table content is going out of bounds. In that case, you go script size and then you can actually use it. Then you could go, um, I don't know, small, then script size, then normal size, tiny, large, huge. These are the different things that you could use with it. The next thing is um, superscript and subscript. So if you wanted to write that, um, let's say f of x equals to y days to 2. So it's f of x equals to y squared. f of x as in, um, let me make it xi. So xi equals to y squared or yi squared, how about that? So if you wanted to do something like that, this will not do. See, it produced xi equals to yi2 in normal text. What you want to do is you want x underscore i. Let's see. Uh -oh. Okay, now this becomes a little special. So you put it inside dollar signs. Oops. And then you run it. So this xi, i is um, subscript now. So you make it subscript that way and then you want to make this i a subscript too. So you go dollar y underscore i dollar and this will make this i a subscript of y. Now how about this too? We want to make it a superscript so say this. If I do this, so this caret character is for superscripting. What happened? So your xi equals to yi squared. Let me use capital Y so you can see it better. Here. Make sense? So you could do it that way. Now how about if I wanted to say xi equals to yi squared. So this square is not to y but to i. So in that case you could go this way. So the square is applied to i. So that is the beauty of LaTeX. You just specify how do you want your text to be produced and it will produce it in that manner. Okay, so I'll stop here and if you have questions, just let me know.